Today a little bit different than what we usually do. First of all, different stream time. Second of all, some different content. Da, 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 da. So um, I got contacted a while ago through email that there's a company that's holding an internal tournament. Um, and they've been, they've been playing, they've been holding it for years. And they asked if I wanted to cast the grand finals. Uh, this is just uh, between co-workers, really. And I said, yeah, sure, sounds fun. So it's a, uh, I think we have one player that is diamond and the other one I think is low masters. Let me have a quick look. Actually, I think both of them are uh, diamond still. Never mind. Yeah. So diamond one, I think a diamond two or a diamond three. So uh, <laughs> it's going to be a best of seven. I'm really curious what it's going to be. I think it will be a good time, no matter what. So uh, yeah, welcome everyone. It's, it, it, I'm just going to be streaming this as well. There's nothing else uh, kicking off uh, after or before. Like This is, this is going to be as well. There's nothing. It's going to be a short little stream, or, or a long stream, in case it's, uh, you know, in case the best of seven goes along. <laughs> I was looking forward to it. Hey, what's up, Craft Storage? Patrick Starrett, what's up, everyone? Let me grab my phone real fast. What races? Um, they're Protoss and Terran. So we're just gonna have a, a like a, a chill little stream, okay? Just a chill little stream. We're gonna be watching some uh, slightly lower level play, but um, we're gonna take it serious, of course. This is a, a serious tournament. You know, no, no, no jokes here. What the heck is happening right now? Okay, got it. Du -du 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 Thank you so much for uh, the tier two subscription, Opportunist TC. And hey, what's up, Eric? Good to see you, buddy. I'm doing all right, uh, Kirish. I was the pick video yesterday and was so funny. How's the pick bite wound? It's been it's healed completely, um, honestly. So, uh, no, no pain anymore. Hi, Mr. Streamer. I love your YouTube videos. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Amateurs need love, too. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Did Hamster choose his name after working with you, or was it a happy coincidence? Happy coincidence. Actually, a happy coincidence. They're struggling a bit with the videos, but it's okay. It happens. Can you imagine how strong Zerg would be if they absorbed a pig? Like pig riders or something? Put a roach on top of a pig? I would like it. Who are the players? The players are Nikita Small and J Jagger Flash or Jagger Flash. So the Protoss versus Terran. Dude, I'm very excited to watch this. I haven't actually seriously followed a Diamond best of seven, but this type of stuff can be super hype. Because... It, so I unironically believe that lower level StarCraft... No, okay, I don't unironically believe that. I think sometimes lower level StarCraft is much more exciting. Because comebacks are so much more common because the games are so ins insanely imperfect, right? Like, you can lose 10 workers against the first Reaper, and you're still kind of okay, because your Banshee is also going to kill 15 workers, you know? And then your first Cyclone is going to kill all the Oracles that fly across the map. Um. <laughs> oh, they made me the, the leader of the party as well. God, I freaking love this so much.
You participated in this tournament, didn't make it to the finals though. Ah, it's too bad to hear, Oleg. Is there anything else besides honor and glory? I have no clue. I didn't really ask any details, to be honest. Did you send me an email? I was like, man, that sounds pretty funny. Like, I don't know. I just... <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a good time. It's really the only thing that matters. I hope you guys will also have a good time. Okay, we're in the, the first lobby. Let's see. Where, where, do we, where should I put everything? I think this will do this trick. Um, okay, they picked their correct races. They're all set up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Low level StarCraft 2 is best because the amount of mistakes are made more in that one game than the amount of mistakes Cyril made in his entire career. Very true. Very true. Yeah, because usually the only time I see Diamond games is in uh, is in is in IOTIS, you know, not not anywhere else. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the sickest best of seven that you might have ever seen in your entire life. In the top right, spawning as our yellow Protoss player, it's gonna be Jager Flash. Yeah, music's popping off. And in the top left, Nikita Small, our uh, Teal Terran player. Any lore for these players? You can make up anything you want, and it's gonna be accurate. I I actually did get a bit of lore background, but I think it's better to make stuff up rather than be accurate. So Nikita is the... Actually, let me check who the better one is. Okay. Yeah, Nikita is the clear favorite here with a, an MMR advantage of a couple hundred. Jager Flash does the underdog, which means we will be rooting hardcore for Jager. Okay, let's call him Flash. It's funny, actually. Not many people know this, but there is this pro gamer called Flash in Korea. He named himself after Jager Flash. It's like, man, this guy is so cool. I can't play Protoss as well as him, so I'll pick Terran. This was back in Brood War. Jager Flash was one of the only foreign Brood War players that was very good. He locked in his first probe. <laughs> no, I mean, that's a good move. <laughs> it's not a good start here for Jager. It is a, he's keeping the probe safe. It's for safekeeping. This guy is not going to die in this game. It is very unlikely. Very, very unlikely. Please recall it. Oh, why would he recall it? It's safe. I wonder if it's Jager or Jager. Or Jager. As we would say in Dutch. It means hunter. So maybe this guy is the Flash Hunter. Which has to be a terrible drop. Because the Flash, isn't he the superhero that is really fast? That doesn't sound like a very fun thing to hunt. Ooh, Nikita Small here. He's going for the Akrish build. But a bit different because he's proxying the second factory now. All right. So she's going to go for a Cyclone all in. Absolutely love it. Marine, meanwhile, scouting for any potential proxies, but Jager Flash. Flash. The one and only. Just relaxing, chilling, not doing much of anything. Twilight Council. This is a decent timing as well for this Twilight Council, given the fact that his, uh, his probe here is stuck behind the minerals. Tech lab. Oh, he's playing my build! He's playing my build! He's playing my Cyclone tank build! That is actually exciting, because that is my favorite build. Oh, he's gonna lose his first adapt. You know what the counter is to this build? It's DTs. If you throw down a Dark Shrine right now, you win the game. Well, he won't win the game, but it would be pretty sick. Builds a battery, which is a good call. Has a second gate on the way. He's actually trying to go for a serious build as well. But he's struggling. He's going to get a Robo here. Second battery. Nice. No Robo. Another battery. He knows he needs another battery. Dude, you're going to need like three more batteries. He has no units downstairs currently. He has no Stalker. He's chronoing in his blink. Third gateway. There's a hole here. There's a hole here. First tank is about to pop right now. Dude, I can't believe he's actually playing my build. I love how influential I am. I'm an actual influencer. You know these losers on Instagram peddling crap products? That's me, but then for good StarCraft builds. I cannot believe it. Oh my god, it's gonna win. And I'm responsible for this. This build is unbeatable. 
If you play against Blink, I legit believe it's unbeatable. It, it's a hard counter to Blink. You just can't beat the... It, you just can't lose. You can't lose with this build. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it! Okay. He wanted to waste another shot of that tank. Good move, actually. High level play that we don't see every day. Immortals on the way. He's a lot of workers, by the way. No, no, don't lose the stalkers. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Micro against the Marines. Super battery could activate if the energy is available. Do we have energy? We have energy. Super battery is my best friend. Well, he's being patient here, but that probably means he's not going to get the immortal. <laughs> 39 out of 39. Uh, yeah, I think this game might be over. I think... Okay, so I can imagine a scenario in which the immortal pops. He starts the super battery and then probably still loses the game. But... It was almost a close one. <laughs> Flash is just warming up still. This is the first game he played this week. Calm down, guys. <laughs> Nikita just apologized. <laughs> For cheesing. <laughs> Dude, look at this. <laughs> he just said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that makes it worse or not. Uh, this makes me so happy. Hecate is going to be the second map. <sighs> I want the WCS mod. No shot. Flash probably pretty upset right now. This is not what he signed up for. You lost against this Terran build too, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, it's a powerful build, what can I say? It wouldn't surprise me if we're going to see it uh, at some, in some high level at some point. Okay, honestly, I'd be shocked if we don't see this build used in either the GSL or in the upcoming uh, European regionals or the, just the Dallas tournament itself. I'd be shocked if we don't see it a single time. This build is seriously good. Like, I know, I know I'm, no, I'm not even joking. I know you guys think I'm a joke, but I think this build is seriously okay. It's su it's super easy to execute, but it's also just powerful. Like, it's legit not bad. I would think Stargate, but Phoenix Lift is the best counter to that. Uh, Robo First is a very good counter to it, actually. <clears throat> and I think Void Rays are probably also good against it. Although I guess the Cyclone soon is going to get nerfed. They, they mentioned on GSL today that the the next round of GSL is going to be played on the new patch already, which I thought was shocking. Oh, this is already a better start than last time, because he didn't lock in his probe. He has a weird way of walling, by the way. Hey, buddy, how come no casters are casting the GOS Season 1? What? What if you don't make more than two gates and you just spam batteries? You're just going to get, uh, like, uh, absolutely destroyed by the tank fire anyway. Tanks outrange batteries. So you're only going to have a small portion where you're going to be. I guess you can fight in battery range, but unless you have super battery, it's going to suck. And even with su super battery, it sucks. It just always sucks. That's really the the, the fact, fact. Is the next GSL going to be on new maps as well? I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest. I I, 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 I have no clue. I just, I just heard it on the GSL broadcast. Is that so? That means that it's gonna be on. They usually patch on Tuesdays, right? So what day would that be? Right now is the twenty-first, Friday, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So it's like what, twenty-seven, twenty. Why can I not count? Or maybe they just do it just before the GSL. They have done it on different days before as well. All right. CC on the way out here. It's going to be a macro build. What was this? Just, oh, reactor first coming out of Nikita. He's floating 150 gas right now. Not starting his factory quite yet. Also walking into a tiny bit of a supply block. Jaeger, meanwhile, at home. It's going to start his Twilight Council. 229 for the Twilight. It's honestly a tight build order here by uh, by Flash. Flash playing well. 
tight build orders, good execution, didn't get his probe stuck. This, this build is infinitely better than what happened before. I, I'm not a huge fan of the Sim City. He keeps building walls where there's holes in them. Maybe Flash, this is actually what I heard, is that Flash is a cheesemaker in real life. So he's used to making things with holes in it. He's actually, I just got it whispered into my ear by production. Production told me that he's a cheesemaker in real life. A cheese farmer. I heard he has 10 cheeses that he farms. Seven, seven milk cows. He makes the cheese himself. It's just what I heard. I'm not sure if it's true. It's going to all be fake, fake news. But unlikely. Oh, this adapt. He cancels it as well. Honestly, this guy has better adapt movement and build orders than 90% of the diamond games that I see. I'm fairly impressed by this. Look at how low the money is. Pilot timings on good good timings as well. Is he going to play a 3 gate Robo here? I think he is. 3 gate Robo. It's going to go for maybe uh, some blink aggression. Meanwhile, we have a 3 Rex coming out of Nikita Small. I heard he's also very handsome. Really? I didn't hear that. Look at this little wall that we have here. I wonder what that's for. Maybe he doesn't know that this doesn't work against prisms. Imagine you could make air walls. How stupid would that be? If there was one race that could make air walls, it would be Terran. Because it sounds broken. So it would fit the race very well. Three stalkers. Are we getting a prism as well? It's not building a neck. It's, uh, it's You're flowing a bit of cash right now, uh, Flash. Hello? Nexus? Let's see what we're up to. Busy microing his adept while floating 900 minerals. Also gonna get supply blocked. You really just need to build a Nexus, because... We have 700 minerals right now, it's gonna lose the adept. I don't care so much about that. We have triple refineries on the way at the same time on the other side. This is not looking good for Flash. Watch him send the stim instantly. Dude, if he sends stim right now, that would be epic. He just stims in. Then hope the other guy forgets how to micro. That would actually be a crazy play. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's not. Please, let's just not. Where are we going? He stimmed. He actually did stim. Prism stays alive, Adept stays alive, Stalkers get to go back home. Warp in some more Stalkers. Maybe get a Robo Bay as well or something. He's gonna get an Immortal. I would love to see Worker Production. We stopped building Workers about a minute and a half ago. Not entirely sure why that's the case, but... It's not like we've been lacking cash. Get a scan upwards. You think he's gonna stim again? I bet he's gonna stim again. Can't really do that though, can you? And now we get to see the dance. Well, that was not a great dance. More like a dance in James Bond. James Bond then gets stabbed in the back. Or poisoned. By a needle. That's a typical James Bond. He's floating 2k minerals right now. For how sick his first four minutes were. The next three minutes are very suboptimal, I have to admit. I'm almost disappointed. No, not almost. I actually am quite disappointed. I truly believe that Flash could do it. You think I'm allowed to coach Flash in between the games? Happily coexisting here, the Prism and the Marines. Love to see it. I think this game is over again as well. I could be wrong about it. Okay, we're now going to get assimilators. Nikita is going to be uh, having a faster base, quicker upgrades, better infrastructure, better units, and more supply. So really, it's, it's hard to see a single part in which Flash is ahead currently. I think... You know what I think Flash should be doing here? I think Colossus are the future. I'd almost recommend Flash to play two base Colossus here. Diamond players are good when you let them do their thing, but crumble under pressure. 
that's a goaded comment. That's probably true. Yeah, spend his money at this point, though. He's gonna cancel the gate. Two more gates. Another one. Oh, up to ten gates and a robo bay. Okay. This uh, most definitely is a setup. Couple of mules. Depot from the sky. Some zealots. Alright. Actually, Flash is kind of back into it, because Nikita has decided to not build any workers for quite a while either. He's only on 46. So worker counts are pretty close. Really, we're one bad fight away, or just a, really just a fight away from this game tipping ever so slightly in favor of Flash. What is this? That's gonna drop in the main. It's a good move. See how ready uh, Flash is for this. It's gonna move in position. I have the, these guys just stimming in. That's minus the forge. Ooh, it's gonna target down the Robo Bay. That means he might lose some of these medevacs and some of the units on the ground. I wonder if this was worth it. I mean, it was probably worth it because he managed to keep everything al alive. At the same time, lost some units. This is not a good move here, Flash. This is, uh, this is the opposite of a good move. Who knows us first? De -de 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 -de. Oh, it is Flash here. Who sees first? Double scans now coming out of uh, Nikita Small. As Flash decides that these stalkers are not worth anything, it's gonna lose them to free up supply for more zealots. Still zero upgrades for Flash as well. Nikita Small continuing to destroy here. Blink down, about 10 zealots on the high ground idling. Immortal on the high ground idling. Gonna get cleaned up. Maybe a counterattack is a possible. Ah, oh, there's so many units. Second Robo. I'd love to see some forges here, but we're not seeing them. This is gonna be a serious issue. How's the Zealot count here? 19. I mean, if there's no mines, you can see... Um, actually, never mind. This game is not looking good. The barracks count is five. We have a factory as well. Which I'm a huge fan of. Producing mines. Three more barracks on the way. Wait, do we have a 4CC already or am I going crazy? There's no 4CC. It's just going to play 8 racks? That's not a build. I'm going to go for it, though. More production is better. Still zero forges, but Flash right now, realizing that if he survives for another five minutes, might have a chance. I think disruptors are going to be the future here. It's getting pylons for vision around the map. Prism moving out. The, the complete lack of upgrades is... Uh, it's going to make sure that Flash is going to hit some type of ceiling at some point and what his army is capable of doing, unless he gets Disruptors in, because Disruptors don't care about upgrades. Purification Nova is a Purification Nova. It's going to hit... Poof. But instead, we might get Storm. There's a lot of Marines still in this army as well. Usually, we see a much higher count of Marauders. Look at his split. Scanning towards the main base. Sees the double forge. I bet Nikita's small right now. Wants to go for a drop once again towards the main base. That would be very exciting. Two colors. Fort base being built. Ooh, look at this. Once again, have a standoff without either plane being aware of it. It's like two guys napping with a gun in their hands. Who's going to wake up first? I don't know who's going to wake up first. Nikita's going to take out the third base. Ooh, or is he? Not paying attention. Gonna lose his units, and at the same time is uh, taking out this fort. Overall, probably uh, worthwhile trades anyway for the Terran. Who's about to finish his 3-2 upgrades against a plus 1 attack upgrade. That's it. For now, that's all we have. We get our Zealot Warp in. It seems like Flash woke up first. There are a lot of units nearby, though. Base is gonna get cancelled. So it's 3 base versus 3 base. 200 supply to 140. I wonder who's going to win the next fight. It's hard to call. 
I mean, actually, with four Colossus, it's possible that you just kill the Marines. Like, Marines, they die anyway, you know? It's nothing there. <sighs> this base practically dead. There's still two mines here that need to be cleaned. Flash is relaxing. We have no worker production out of either player. Did the game just lag? Or did I make that up? Did it just stop moving maybe for a bit? I think it lagged for a second. I saw it. Oh, here comes the drop in towards the main base. Still some mines down here. As so cannons are being sporadically deployed to try and deal with this. Observers being f 2 back to the main army. This base will eventually mine again. I wonder if Nikita understands how far ahead he is. I don't think he does. Otherwise he probably would end the game. Take us all out of our misery. It's gonna be a long evening, eh, Captain? Ah, nah. <laughs> You'll be fine. I heard that the third game is gonna be a certified banger, actually. That's what I heard. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's true, though. It could be, but it could not be. That's what I heard. I read the script already. He said, game one, we play Harston's build. Game two, one-sided destruction. And then game three, Flash makes the comeback of the century. That's what the script said. But I don't know how accurate the script is. All right, this game is over. It's just for Flash to realize that right now as he's trying to warp in some zealots in the main. Do just plus one. It's not going to do it. Flash steps out with a GG. Nikita Small takes the second win here as well. Aye, aye, aye. What level is this? This is uh, diamond. That's what it is. Cheeky little diamond. Thank you, Boomhauer Starker 2, for the Twitch Prime subscription. Much appreciated. Did I miss anything else? No, don't think I did. Do you know what MMR these players are? Um, 34 and 4200. I think 36 and 42, something like that. Ooh. <laughs> Flash says that his hands are shaking and he's doing stupid things. Uh oh, that's not good. Maybe we need a small break for Flash at some point. Yeah, we're taking a, a minute break. Nikita needs some water as well. I don't know what Flash is gonna do. Pop some pills, maybe. It'd be a good move. <laughs> what is this stuff you use to focus more? Is that Adderall? Cheeky, 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 cheeky Adderall for the in-house the in -house tournament. <laughs> I think that's a good idea, buddy. <laughs> Does it make you sleep uh, more difficult as well? A Ritalin. Ritalin? Two medications. Stays in your body longer. Ritalin works more quickly to reach peak effect. So then Ritalin would be better here. If we want that peak effect. My hands would be shaking if the captain was casting me too. Don't mock me, Foxer. Thank you, LW Kalino, for the Twitch Prime, by the way. Appreciate it, buddy. It's very kind of you. Oh, Nikita ready. Um, Jager ready. <laughs> oh, I love this type of stuff. All right, game three. Yeah, this could be a short evening if it keeps going like this.
All right. No, it's incorrect. Best of seven. Mr. Flash versus Nikita. Game number three. All right. What is the chance that Flash only has a single build and is going to be playing three gate blink with a prism every single game this entire series? I think there's a decent chance of that. It seems like Nikita is a better tournament player as well as just a, a general better player, but also a better tournament player. I think if you're playing tournaments, especially at a slightly lower level, um, you just should get like five different all-ins and then you just all-in the entire time. Because Nikita hasn't once repeated a build yet. Now he's going to play two gas, so he might actually repeat a build. He's going to fool all now. He's going to send out this SCV. Is that a quick scout? Yeah, that's way too fast for a scout. Completely different. Immortal in, nothing beats that. Honestly, Immortal in is not very good. I feel like Void Ray all in would be tight, though. You can always surprise someone with a cheeky Void Ray all in. Ooh, here we go. Once again, Probe not stuck in the, in the main base. That's a bonus. Oh, is he going to block the natural? That would be very frustrating. Oh, that's a lag spike. That's not me, right? No, I'm innocent. This is, this is not me. I repeat, this is not me. I wonder if they see that too. Yeah, surely they're seeing it because it's not me. Oh, see, wait. Is he faking an expansion? Look at this move. What a gamer. He pretended like he was doing, gonna do a one gas expand despite already having his two gas scouted. Or maybe he forgot he was doing two gas. This sometimes happens to me as well when I'm playing something uh, a bit weird. I was gonna build a bunker, little prick. I hate people that do this. All of them. No respect for these moves. Ugh, disgusting behavior. Okay, the response for Jaeger is actually relatively simple. Or for Flash, sorry. You just get a battery. Wait, how does he know? Dude, that's high tier. And he's getting a Stalker. This honestly is a good start. It's chronoing the stalker too. Come on, shoot it. Shoot the SCV. Please, please. The cancel. Almost was a cancel. Reaper, meanwhile, is doing nothing. He's shooting the Nexus. This is an ambitious Reaper, you see that? Could have gone for probes, but instead wanted to go for the Nexus instead. Now it's going to go for the next Nexus. This guy is dreaming big. You see, that's what you need to do in life. Be like this Reaper. Take on some absolutely unrealistic project and then give up after a while. They're working for a consultancy firm. This looks kind of okay for uh, for Jaeger, though. For our man Flash. I like how this looks for Flash. I really do. Second Stalker's about to pop off as well. Look at this. This is StarCraft. Ooh, almost was perfect micro. If he gets this Reaper, that would be a big deal. That was a re relatively big deal. Adept on the other side of the map as well as our man Flash right now. is making plays happen. Gets the scout off on the Cyclone. Yes, has to pay... The price of a single adapt for it but that is something that is, is invaluable information here second factory coming out we we're dealing with a disgusting mech player oh good control on the reaper going up and down the cliff utilizing its cliff jumper ability and here comes a double factory play now people often ask me is there a window right now to move across the map and straight up win the game and the answer is no there is no window. We have a starport following this up, so it's going to be a two-factory mech into starport. Are we going to see a tech lab on this barracks? Oh my god. I think we have a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I am not saying that this game is over. What I am saying, however... What I am saying, however, is that this game is in favor of Flash right now. And where we give over the control to a player like Hero... I think Hero would be capable of beating Nikita Small from this position. Okay. If we were to give the game, you know, we hand it over to Hero in this spot. I think Hero would be happy with that spot. Against a player like Nikita Small. Oh, 
What is this thing gonna be? What do you think? Raven? Cyclops? If he built a cyclone from here, that would be very impressive. Raven, Banshee, Liberator, Medivac, Sensor Tower, Banshee. Are we gonna see Cloak? Doesn't have the money for it. Gets a scan. Misses the Observer, because it's not there. Does get the probe outside of the scan range. Suspicious moves. Suspicious moves here, coming out of Nikita Small. Who's now moving across the map with not one, not two, not three, but four Cyclones. Is that going to be enough to deal with these seven Stalkers that are here? The answer is no. That's not enough. No, attack it! Flash! Oh no, he's too afraid of the Cyclone. Chase it! We wanna... No, okay, let it go. Maybe we're playing a macro game here. We're in it for the for the long run, I guess. Has a battery in a single base. It's gonna send the... What is this? Looking at the fishes. At the fish from a higher viewpoint here. With that observer surveillance mode. This cloak banshee is not gonna have cloak yet. So let's just call it a regular banshee. Stalker immortal moving across the map as well. I'm not saying that this is a win, but... There's some serious potential here for Flash to actually deal some 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 damage. He's gonna fight this. The Immortal's gonna come in handy, right? So we have 11 Stalkers versus 7 Cyclones. Immortal pops in. Here comes a Banshee. Here comes a Banshee. That should die. Is he gonna blink on me? He's gonna fight with the Immortal. No, please, just turn around. We can turn around and fight this. Did you just bring my mouse? No. That would be a... Use the Immortal, please! Subpar fight here. Subpar fight, uh, fight out of flash as the immortal stood from a distance. This is like summoning your big brother to help you in a fight. And then while you're getting beat up, he's just smoking a cigarette on the side. Like, I didn't even know he smoked. Hey, what is this? This immortal is not one to get his hands dirty. Absolute trick. Also just comes home. Tells your parents to call the, the ambulance. Little Kevin has been beaten up. It was five against one. Couldn't have done anything. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this immortal is putting the eye in team. <laughs> yeah, he's trying his best. <laughs> Stargate, okay. Double Forge as well. Realizing that the lack of upgrades really cost him in the last game. Prison popping out too. This is, this has been subpar so far. This has been subpar. But we're still in it as Flash fans. 1-1 one, one starts. Hey, you know what the beautiful thing is about Mac? Is that it is rare to see people lose to it. Actually, the last time I saw someone lose to Mac was when I did an IOTIS between Goody and Heaven. That was probably one of the worst games I've seen in my life. Where at least, well, where both players were supposed to be capable of playing, that was another that was another vibe. Are we gonna see something else here? Templar, Robo Bay. I don't think Flash actually knows what to do against Mech, but I could be wrong. What's happening here? Cloak, Prisma on the side. Look at his multitasking. Oh, he's gonna kill like 30 workers. He doesn't have observers nearby, does he? He's spotting these rocks as we speak. There's some odd positions for observers, I'm not gonna lie. Some odd positions for observers. Benji's continuing as well. That scan's gonna finish. This is not the end of the world, though. This is not gonna decide the outcome of the game, because... Nikita Small currently is floating 2800 minerals. That is something that could potentially decide the outcome of the game. That is a big deal. What's actually going to decide the outcome of the game is the next fight. <sighs> is the patch confirmed to go through next week? And that's what they said on the GSL. I don't actually know. I haven't followed uh, very much of it, to be honest. But on GSL today, they mentioned that the quarters 
Which is, is that being played? It's being played next week, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, I'm pretty sure, or the week after. Maybe what they'll do is they have a week break in the GSL, and then they do the patch, so people have some time to practice on ladder. I don't know if that's true. There's a large bank that we're building here, by the way. Plus two vehicle weapons as well. A second armory on the way. Nexus popping out. We've now entered a phase where neither player wants to do anything. Actually, I always like watching people while nothing is happening. Because then what are they doing, you know? So it's just relaxing. That's what we're doing here. Just relaxing. A couple of pylons coming down. Round of 8 is Thursday and Heroes sounded convinced they will be playing the new patch. Okay. So then they probably are playing the new patch. Some slight oversaturation here on the natural. This also is exciting to watch, you know, because now we don't understand what's happening at all. This is the beauty of lower level games, is how scary it is to watch in the first person, because you never have any vision. I just realized that Flash hasn't even seen the third base yet. This must be so so scary to play. Oh, and now just an entire army moves out. He's gonna build a Nexus. I got Cyclones. Freaking Cyclones. What's the chance he's gonna flank this army? This is legit zero. What's the chance he's gonna A move? And blink and forward, very high. This could be a good fight though. Look at this. Look at these Archons go, man. Yeah, Mech is a different beast. Mech is a different beast. Like, this is a, a potential W. They they didn't believe the haters, but it might be happening. Look how much cash he's floating as well, our boy Nikita Small. Banshee's now trying to snipe the robotics facility. That's a move and a half. Oh my god, how many Banshees do we have? There are five Banshees total. There's two over here. I mean, it is not a good move because there's observers here. He's just using F2. No, he's not. Oh, he lost the Robo. Ah. That's cool. Oh, it's going to lose his uh, Banshees now. Yep. Oh, oh good reposition. Going to still lose a couple of works before this Banshee finishes up. Now it's going to just A move into the tanks. And we get our first win here as Flash moves in. The tanks are not going to be good enough. It's move commanding a lot. Not a huge fan of that. But it still should be fine. We get a scan. Sees the observers and now realizes why he lost. There's nothing to do with the observers, but the fact that he's floating 4k minerals probably does have something to do with it. Banshee's taking out some final pylons. Blinks into the main base. Technically still possible to lose this game, albeit somewhat difficult to execute, I think. It would actually be hard to lose this one. What is he attacking? Okay, another tank. No, he's attacking SCVs as well, which is not great. He has two tanks in the natural. I mean... He can send over zealots across the map. There's a planetary here, which Flash is aware of as well, because there's a prism floating around. In ecstasy, so don't stop Flash now. Because he's having a good time, having a good time. Continues with the upgrades. It's actually on five base. I didn't even realize that. It's a lot of bases. Right now we're building void rays. What I would like to see is some probes and some zealots, maybe an Archon or two. What MMR are these players? 3,500 and 4,200. Yeah. Plus three vehicle weapons. That's what, 80, 70, 75% done. Nice. We could see a world. But it's not completely unthinkable. It is quite unthinkable. No, no, okay, it's actually impossible. What he needs to do, okay, unironically, what he should be doing is adding in some mines. Mines and hell beds. Like these units, they're cheap. They build relatively quick. You can reactor them out, which is huge. Although you only have a single reactor. But like building Thor's is not going to win you this, this game, you know? It's just not. What we need is mines. And what we need Flash to do here is to kill the bases that he knows are there and are unprotected currently. Another thing you could do is build walls. 
they freaking work so well against zealots. It's insane. Another CC. I like that. Investing in the future. That is a very good move. Get another scan. Make sure there's no tech switches. Seeing storm being... Please attack Flash for the love of God. Like, what are we waiting for? What is he waiting for? Maybe he's just really confident in the super late game. That is possible. We shouldn't underestimate that, actually. Plus three vehicle weapons. Or uh, plating, sorry. Four Thors. What if this guy is a late game god? He always wins by choking out his opponent, by mining all the resources. I think that's actually what's happening. That is extremely exciting to think about. Flash, not many people know this. Flash actually invented the late game in early 2011. Void Ray, Carrier, Tempest, Templar, Motherships. He had it all. Oracles. He managed to build Oracles before they were even in the game. Before Heart of the Swarm got released. So you have a prism still idling here in the bottom side of the map. It is waiting to go in. It is sharking around. Waiting to strike at any moment right now. Large Zealot Count moving forward as well. Are collecting at the pylon. And this is an important pylon here. Because this is the reinforcement pylon for Flash. As Flash maneuvers towards the left side of the map. Completely catching his opponent off guard. How could Nikita have expected this army to come in? It was simply impossible. Splitting the army. Not viable when you're playing mech. This base potentially toast. As the Archons are moving in right now. Planetary is being targeted down as well. Voidray used the prismatic alignment. Oh, is the target fire going to be enough? Right click some of these SCVs. As the bench is coming from the side. Helmets with the flank as well. Tanks unseized as the Thors move forward with solid upgrades. It's going to clear a decent portion of this army. Banshee's here dishing out a lot of damage as the Colossus go out, but a zealot run by to the main base, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing some serious StarCraft 2 action right now. Jaeger Flash dropping in supply, but catching his opponent off guard with some high-level maneuvers into the main, into the natural, into the fort. He's taking stuff out everywhere as these depots start burning down. Nikita Small fans now storming the stage. Start asking the referee if this is even allowed. As we see Flash get a yellow card here from the ref. And we'll need to sub out one of his players. Triple carrier start instantly. Only with the plus one upgrade and with the plus three vehicle already done. A couple of Thors out on the map. I am not sure if this is the transition you want to make. <laughs> Look, the opponent has the perfect counter already. The only thing Mech is not that bad against is carriers. It's once they have Thors. So we get the scans as well. Nikita now confirming the fact that carriers are on the way. There's four orbital commands here still idling. And now it's Nikita's turn to catch his opponent off guard. As Flash is uh, struggling getting an army together. Do we have any storms? I love that he waited for a storm before the pushout and then used zero storms. Not that I really feel like storms would have changed that battle a whole lot. Feels like the main mistake was targeting the planetary with the entire army and then losing all the zealots so we're gonna get another big fight here zealots charging in right now hellbats doing their job tanks not sieged up as the thors are destroying everything that exists more units should be rallied across the map not a single disruptor out on the map which is the hard counter to the thor absolutely the hard counter archons in the back should be capable of perhaps doing something at least. Tanks now sieging up from a distance. Vikings in the sky helping out as well, but not with great upgrades. Colossus shooting with the help of a super battery. Perhaps can stay alive. No, they can't. As Nikita here is uh, bursting through the opposition. The zealot attack. The assassination attempt. Trying to right-click the main base of his opponent. Did not work. This is how you can see that, uh, that Flash is a League of Legends player. Because he was thinking, if I click this main structure right now, go for some epic backdooring, I might just win the game anyway. And sadly, 
isn't aware that just taking out the main base command center doesn't work. Also forget about the fact that it can fly. Thors are gonna take out this base here on the left side. It is currently six base versus five. Earlier we had six base versus three. And Flash was up about 90 supply at certain points during this game. He's now gonna try and counter the Thors with Void Rays. Which is probably the second worst unit after the carrier to try. But I do appreciate the uh, the experimentation here that we're seeing live in this game. It's so funny that his first army was actually just the best. He was like, man, that was a great fight for me. I wonder if that was a good army. And then he just switched out of it. Into a worse army. It's like the Archon Immortal Colossus Zealot worked so well. It's like, let me just build pure Zealots. And attack with my Colossus Archon on a different spot. As uh, this army is going to get taken out. GG gets caught. Flash ends up losing this game. As you see the comeback of the century. And that puts Nikita Small here. On match point. <laughs> Three O so far. <laughs> ah, that's good. Ah, too bad. <clears throat> too bad. You know, you, you can't win every single time. That's something we shouldn't forget about. Thank you, by the way, Husky Woofer for the two-month resub, as well as Absalom1337 for the two-month resub. Appreciate all of you, my dear friends. Hmm. We're going to get El Sioni out right now. Here goes Jager Flash. All right. We've got our potentially final game. Best of seven? Yes, sir. Harsom, do you play Geogasser? No, I never have. Is this some kind of amateur tournament? You guessed it right. Oh, wait. Is the wrong buttons. All right. Let's see if uh, Nikita Small is going to try ending this in style. Or if he's going to be happy. He so far he hasn't done a single uh, single repeat build. How to participate in this one? Oh, this was like a. So what happened is that I got an email, uh, which basically just said, "Hey, we have a an, like a a tournament at our work that we play. Do you want to cast the finals?" I said, "Yeah, that sounds all right." He said, "It's just a single best of seven in the finals." And they've been hosting this tournament for like, I think, five or six years or so within their company. Um, it's like a pretty big company. I think it had like 5,000 people uh, it's called Data Art. And uh, yeah, they play this tournament. And the guy was like, you want a cat? Like, yeah, sure. Sounds fun. So that, that's really it. There's no, no backstory. Ooh. Look at that. The first time here that we see uh, see Flash open up with a Nexus before Core. What's the ballpark? You char charge him for your services. Uh, three beers and a yo-yo and a lollipop. But from an A brand. I only eat Chupa Chups. All right. There's a serious A brand lollipop. Do you ever go like go in a restaurant and you see these unmarked, you know, they, they, they're just called little lollipops, you know, these tiny ones, and they have like a disgusting plastic wrapper on them without a brand? I always, uh, I always retract my tip when I get those. You know, sometimes you get like a little candy with the bill. If you, they give you one of these unbranded lollipops. And it's like, I want my tip back. It's not happening. 
They're like, what? It's like, you give me this crap and you expect me? It's like, chupa choop or I'm out of here. I'm leaving a one-star review. It's unbelievable. You know, people that like the... You know, you have these 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 big big ones, the the fat round ones with the Coca Cola taste. People that like them have brain damage. This is actually how they test it. They give you the strawberry and the Coca Cola option. And if you take the Coca Cola one, they just write down your IQ as like sixty five. They tested this with monkeys as well. And they found a correlation between the monkeys that preferred eating their own poop over eating bananas. They also liked the Coca-Cola lollipop over the strawberry one. This is a, all a true story. I'm not sure if the Coca-Cola ones are Chupa Chup. That would be the one Chupa Chup mistake that they made. Every big company has allowed a single mistake. Chupa Chup uh, releasing the Coca-Cola lollipop. Windows is forgetting about the fact that the greatest voice program called Skype exists. Skype was the, the market leader in, in voice calling until Windows bought it. And then made, made the program worse with every subsequent update. The amount of tweets that I have sent to Bill Gates flaming him for Skype is very high. Like in a sea of people flaming him for uh, injecting them with microchips and trying to uh, change the weather by blocking the sun with water balloons or something. There's like a hundred tweets from me flaming him about the fact that he ruined Skype for me. There's just no Facebook groups for people like me though. People are really upset with Bill because of Skype. It's kind of messed up. Bill left Microsoft before they bought Skype. That is what he wants you to think. I'm going to keep sending him emails and tweets. No, you worry, mate. You're obviously an undercover agent working for Bill's Microsoft. I can feel it. I haven't used Skype in over 10 years. I use Skype every single day. Oh, we have a build. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Oh, there's a charge all in. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. If this prism dies to the cyclone before warping in, this game is over. Please don't put it in charge mode. Yes, fly away. No, we should have dropped all the other ones. You, Come on, send it in. Send it. Drop the zealots. Drop the zealots. Drop the zealots. Don't know. The fly away. Good. And now go in. Puff. Warp in. Eight. I think we have it. I think Flash has it. There are no units out on the map. There is no counterattack possibility. This is legit impossible to lose. This game is just over. Oh, wait. We have a small counterattack. It's the two Cyclones in the in the matter fact. No, it's still over. Oh, we lose the Prism. Oh. Not again, Flash. Like, this is... This should be 2-2 right now, this series. Like, this is impossible to lose. Because all the units have died. It is six marines. Yeah, okay, it's over. G. Oi, 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 oi. There we go. 3-1. Ah, that was beautiful. That was, that was truly something else. Inno versus Soul Key 2. This is better than Inno versus Soul Key. Unironically higher level. Unironically higher level. Not many people know this, but it's true. Side Delta. Hmm. So I need to keep hosting in between as well. This is a this is a difficult task for me. The speaking, the reading the chat, make sure that the right map gets hosted with the right mod. I think this means ready. Yeah, there you go.
All right. Once again, Nikita small right now on match point, but momentum on the side of uh, our man Flash. I wonder if he's going to do the same build again. I wouldn't mind it. The one where I share a story about the sip and paint and the restraining order. Ah, uh, that's one of my favorite ones as well. I think my parents have my painting, actually. The four tulips or the four wine glasses. I think I left it at their house. It's also possible I threw it out. It was not a good painting. I feel like we still have it, though. It would surprise me if I threw it out. I'll ask Irene about it. She always knows this type of stuff. I'd rather watch the amateur than the pros because it's more interesting to me. I like it. This is the types of stakes we need in life. Double gas opener here by Nikita Small. Once again with a quick, a quick scout. Let's see what our man Flash is going to do here. Why did he swap color? I don't know. It's confusing me. Now there's two blues. Ooh, eBay block. This is a real build. But it's not a real build with double gas. You haven't heard of the tulip story? It's a very long story. Basically, we went to a place called the Paint Bar for uh, for a date, uh, Irene and me. Uh, and then basically you drink and then you paint. But you do it like Bob Ross, you know, it's where he says, now you paint this or now you paint that. And, it's really, and it was really easy. It's really easy to follow along. Um, <laughs> but my painting was legitimately terrible. Like, it was so bad. Uh, that you know that she was walking around at the end and she was saying something nice about everyone's painting like ah oh, it looks good and then when she came to me she chuckled you know she wanted to say something nice but she just couldn't help herself like she just laughed she laughed at my painting I spent like an hour and a half on that so then did I destroy that paint studio I don't know does that business still exist or has it been review botted by a bot farm in Georgia? That's possible. No one really knows. You tell her you're a pro gamer. I told her to Google me. I told her to save the painting because this is going to be worth a lot of money in a couple of years from now. That's what I said. All right. What is this build order? We have a sentry first. This is this is already going horribly wrong. I can feel it. I'm not liking it. This reaper killed four dudes. We have a sentry and a zealot. And there's now a tank on the way. He's getting a twilight council. This is this is the exact opposite of what I wanted to see. This is the exact opposite of what I want. He's gonna send a zealot across the map. He's gonna do nothing. This is the thing, is you, you, you do something weird in these types of leagues, like a, an eBay block, and the game just ends like that. The game just ends. Good lord. What's this? Tech lab? Okay, second tank, more marines. I like the fact that he's getting charged though. Unironically, the best chance here is when Nikita small attacks, is that Flash will just defend. With a bunch of charge slots, like 10 charge slots, and just completely wreck it. Just wreck his opponent. This is going to be Banshees again, isn't it? If this is a Raven, I'll be upset. Ravens have been crap, Banshees have been good so far. Come on, it's a Raven. Okay, your call, buddy. Second tank out. Maybe Nikita's just planning on staying alive with tanks. What is the context of this tournament? There's no context. This is this is what it is. Context is for losers. Oh, this is actually exciting. See, now it's possible. It, like, you don't need many zealots with charge to beat marines and tanks. You need like six. I think if you have six zealots, you own this. And there's one out already. That means that you only need five more. Five added to the one that's already out brings you to six. Which for the initiate... No, come on, not with three. Not with three. I said six. 
I do like the Guardian Shield, but he really just needed six. I mean, you need them in one go. You can't send in three twice and then pretend that you had six at some point, because you didn't. Might still be enough, though, to be honest. It's gonna be pretty close at least. No, just keep attacking. He loses two zealots. Minus three, minus two. Dude, Nikita is really uh, is risking it all here. How many gates do we have? Four? Now a fifth? Like, if... Okay, now if these zealots go... Well, it's five. It's too little. He needs one more. No, this is gonna go horribly wrong. No. Mm. Nah, what did I say? Six zealots. With six zealots, he would have gotten it. Six zealots, this game would have been over. Just a single time is all we needed. Six zealots. Ay, 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 ay. This is not good. This is not good. Third CC on the way. Tim is about to finish. Eh, about to start. Has started. Finishes in a couple of minutes from now. Third Nexus on the way as well. Tanks up here in the high ground. Yeah, you have two more barracks on the way. I mean, the opportunity has now it has left us. Elvis has left the building, so to say. If he ever truly was in the building, that is. And you have a lot of conspiracies about Elvis still being alive. But I personally believe that Elvis was never truly born. Has anyone that you know actually seen Elvis? I don't think so. I don't know anyone that has met Elvis in their lives. And we all know what Photoshop can do with a couple of these, you know, some pictures. It's not that difficult. Oh, started the Templar Archives and decided against it. Robotics facility finishes up. Twenty Marines. He does have six zealots, but I think that's too late now for the six. I think we might be, uh, might be heading to the end here as Nikita decides to move in forward. Stim on these Marines has finished up. Tanks now sieging up. Medivac here as well to help out. Scans forward. It's going to stim in and use these tanks for backup. Second Medivac shows up. Fourth tank is here as well. The Zealots are going down. Super battery gets activated for flash, but the marines are still alive. No combat shield as we continue the leapfrogging motion here with the tanks. More and more medivacs now being sent across the map. As flash in his dying breaths is trying to warp in as many zealots as he can. Force <laughs> almost hits the unit. As <laughs> they didn't quite catch anything there, but it happens to the best. Uh, Pylon still alive. That means that warpings are viable. Guardian shield is available. Should use it here. Oh no, and that, my dear friends, is... Ooh, flash dying as he does not have enough stuff. Three more zealots out. All he needs right now is six more zealots, and he would have nine, and that would be good enough to clear this army, but he doesn't. As Terran once again wins at every level, it doesn't matter where. It seems that Terran is just owning these Protoss players. Zealots getting blasted out of here. There's the tanks in the back still helping out. And this, my dear friends, is just going to be the end. Not just of this game, but of this entire series. No, it's not. Because the tanks get sent back, but just the rest didn't get the memo. There's still no combat shield. It is on the way right now. Flash once again. Still alive. Just like Elvis. And Tupac. Raven now coming in. Ooh, cheeky little auto turret. Cheeky little auto turret. Six depots. That's a lot. He's supply block, but also wants to... Uh, wants the wall. There's not a real wall. There's a space in between. Drops two more depots as well. Love to see it. Third CC now flying over. Two more gates. What do we have here? Hey, the worker count isn't so bad. 
we we don't have storm, but imagine if we research a storm. Okay, just I want to sketch a scenario here. Imagine Flash gets storm. Okay, he chrono boosted twice. Am I saying? Oh no. Okay, never mind. It's getting a hard call. That's a bad call. That's not a good call. I repeat, that's a bad call. Like with thirty-seven marines, if you drop like two big storms on that army against someone that doesn't know how to micro, you have a chance. You have a chance, but if you go for Archons, that chance is uh, is gone. I'd love to see just Storm Research. Because there's no Ghost Academy. I think Ghost, most Terrans don't know how to use them because they only use a single control group. I think one of the things I noticed in lower level games is that most players, they don't keep on aggression when they have the other dude on the ropes. Stim, 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 stim. Not bad at all. Stalkers being warped into the main base as well. To deal with the auto turrets. We have seven tanks. Tank is on the way. Oh, here we go. Big siege up. That's a lot of Archons. I'm not saying it's possible, but... I mean, imagine there was like five storms here, you know? I mean, there wasn't, so... Yikes. Just any type of splash here would have been great. That wasn't Archons. Archons technically have splash, but I always call it fake splash. As uh, Nikita is moving in with the Stim Marines, is going to target down most of these Zealots. Still 0-0 zero, zero upgrades, but I don't think it's going to matter. Siege tanks now unseaging. GG gets called. And that, my dear friends, is going to be it. As Nikita wins the in-house tournament of data art. Wow. GG's. Well played. Thanks for playing, guys. Uh, congrats. All right. And adios. That's it, my dear friends. Jeez. What a show. <laughs> Cheeky little 4 one. That wasn't bad. I enjoyed that. Uh, let's have a look. Thank you, JT Sauls, for the 913 sub. And thank you, uh, Dankness, for the $2 as well. I appreciate that. I think that's just going to be it for me today. I'll be back tomorrow, I think. It's pretty late for me right now. I'm usually asleep. No, I'm not usually asleep, but I was getting close to sleeping. Let's see. Am I here tomorrow? Yeah, I'm here tomorrow from 12 till 2. That's what I'm saying. So I'll start my stream in about... Was it? 14 and a half hours from now? See you guys in 14 and a half hours. Ciao, ciao, my dear friends. Good night.